Good evening everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my monthly Technique Tuesday. I'm going to give everybody a chance to join me tonight. So let me give you a few more seconds. Hi Lisa. Okay, I can see everybody coming on. So just a few announcements before I get started. I have a new hostess code for October. Now we um, are at Stamping Up. This is the beginning of a brand new year. So October 1st started a new year. I can see little snowflakes going down on my screen. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with my settings, so you guys are going to see probably little floaties going by on my screen. I forgot to turn off one of my settings. So anyway, um, this is my new hostess code. Anybody that uses this code and places order during the whole month of October, your name will be entered into my October door prize, which is the Hung With Care Hostess stamp set. So it doesn't matter how small or large your order it is, you'll be entered into my drawing. So tonight is Techniques Tuesday. I'm going to be using the Falling for Leaves stamp set. And um, I tried to be a little funny on my reminder this morning. I told you guys that I may have lost my marbles. The reason for that is because I'm using three marbles tonight and I'm, I'm doing the rolling marble technique. Now this is an old technique but some of you may not have ever seen it. So let me show you what else we're using. I've got three ink refills. I've got Granny Apple, Pineapple Punch, and Grapefruit Grove. This is one of the wide clear cases and I've got three marbles inside. I'm also using Granny Apple Green Ink. Now I've gone ahead and cut out all the die cuts ahead of time. I'm using the Coordinating Detailed Leaves Thinlets dies. As you can see, they're all gone. I'm using most of them tonight. So I've cut out one of the leaves with the Grapefruit Grove cardstock, Pineapple Punch, Granny Apple Green, and then I stamped two of the leaves, cut them out with the dies, and I took a blender pen and just colored with the ink lines. So those are all ready and uh, to go on my card. Tonight's actually gonna be a quick card because we're just focusing on the technique. For card stock, I'm using Granny Apple Green, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, Peggy, yes, there's confetti and stars going through my video. I forgot to turn that off, and I don't want to mess with my uh, phone in case I lose you guys. So you're going to see a little bit of confetti going in the background. Grapefruit Grove, four inches by five and a quarter. Whisper White, five inches by three and three quarter. And then I have just a little strip of the Granny Apple Green. There goes the confetti again. Half an inch by five inches. So I'm going to show you my card. This is what it looks like. If you'll notice the background, that's what I'm using the marbles to create. So that's where the rolling marbles technique comes in. Oh, Pam, you've never heard of the marble technique. I'm, I'm glad to hear that because I'm hoping a lot of you guys haven't seen it. Now, what I'm going to do is add some snail on the Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to glue it on the inside. And we're, I'm always going to be using three marbles, but I'm doing one color at a time. So I'm going to start out with the Granny Apple, and I'm just going to add... A couple drops so I added three now I'm going to close the cover I'm going to roll the marbles so that's why it's called the rolling marble technique what you're essentially doing is wetting the marbles with the ink color 
Now I'm going to flip it upside down. It looks like a mess, right? So the, the ink that was on the marbles gets transferred to the paper, to the cardstock. Now I'm going to pick up the three marbles and wipe them down because I'm going to use a second color. And then I'm just going to wipe around the cardstock. So I would suggest that you have baby wipes handy to do this one. Okay, so this has all been wiped down. Next, I'm going to bring in the Grapefruit Grove and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to add three drops of ink. Add the three marbles back in. Make sure the paper is facing upwards. I'm trying not to move too fast because I know with the camera it tries to keep up and sometimes it, it, um, it just blurs everything out okay so again I've gone through the ink I'm going to flip it over so I'm transferring the ink to the white so now we have two colors I'm going to pick these up and just wipe them down So isn't that neat? Pretty easy. And if you have kids that like to, uh, kids or grandkids that like to stamp with you, they would love this. Okay, now for the third color, which is the pineapple punch. And you can use one color if you want, two colors, four colors. It's up to you. You just keep adding until you're happy with what it looks like. My cardstock is on the top again. I'm going to flip it over. And there's my third color. Let me just grab one more wipe. I'm just going to pick the marbles up so I don't make a mess and I can finish cleaning this later. So now I'm just going to lift this up away from the clear case. And there's my background. Oh, Debbie, it's going dark, isn't it? I forget to turn off one of my settings. So if it's going dark, that's why. Um, there's a confetti setting going through, and I don't dare touch my phone to, to try to mess things up on uh, for you. So I'll try to go slower when I can. I can see that it's getting dark on my video. I can also see when the confetti's going on. So I've gone ahead and folded on the score line. There's special effects on the phone when you set it up your video and it looks like I just forgot to turn one off. Okay, now I'm going to glue the white cardstock. I'm hoping when the video's done and I go back and look at it that that darkness um, disappears somehow. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Let me bring my card in. Says harvest of th uh, thanks with the granny apple green. So there's that. Now I'm going to bring in all my little leaves that I cut. So you could actually, while you're doing one color of ink, you could do multiple backgrounds and then switch over to another color, you know, before you clean it off. Now I'm going to glue the, the leaves in place. So that's the granny apple. This one is the pineapple punch. And I love revisiting old techniques because I know a lot of you guys are new stampers, so you probably haven't seen some of these. So I'm glad to hear that. This is the um, grapefruit grove. I'm adding all my leaves first and then I'm going to add my strip. Now I'm going to tuck this one 
right there. And I'm so sorry that it's going dark on you. And then lastly is the sentiment layer. And let me just trim this little piece right here. So I'll have to double up, make sure um, my settings don't get messed up like that. That's a pain in the butt for you guys. Now I'm adding rhinestones in the background. And look how quick that was. It's so quick to add the background in that manner. So those are my two cards for tonight. Don't forget to share my video so I can pick a name for a winner. And I'll, I will be back uh, tomorrow night for my Design with Debbie class. I did forget to list what you guys need for class if you want to stamp with me. But I'm going to be using this stamp set again. And once I'm done here tonight, I'm going to go list what you guys need. So thanks so much for coming, you guys. And I hope to see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Have a good night, everyone.